This is Rogers TV York Region, where local matters. Hello and welcome to Community Connection. Coming up on this episode, our cameras were there as residents took part in the drive for hope. We'll introduce you to this year's Vaughn Civic Hero Award winner and we'll take you inside the squared circle with Smash Wrestling. As you can see, we have a great show coming up here on Community Connection. We feature people and organizations helping to make York Region the place it is. While cancer should never be a concern for any child, it was a fact of life for one young Thornhill resident who is now on the mend. Inspired by their daughter, her parents are now fighting to help others stricken with the illness. What's funny, being a five-year-old, she actually counts the X's and O's. She's like, Sarah is the most vibrant girl you will ever meet. She's so amazing. Everything she does, we're proud of. She's, she's the most outgoing person ever. Mark Watkin is the proud father of five-year-old Sarah. On October 1st, 2012, their lives were turned upside down. We were the most normal family ever. You know, we, we have a, our, our youngest, Elizabeth. She's almost uh, just over one years old, my wife, Leah. And we were normal, just like every other normal person. And unfortunately, uh, on that date, they told us she had cancer and uh, everything about our family became unnormal that day. And uh, for almost a half year, we lived at Sick Kids. I was doing every night there and my wife lived there every day. And we switched, so it was difficult for our family. We would see each other in crossing. You know, I, I would speak to my wife a little bit here every day, but we didn't have family dinners anymore. We didn't have that quality time that uh, I guess we used to take for granted. I thought it was like surgery where you had to like, you know, glue something on a bone or something. While many suffering from leukemia require a bone marrow transplant, Sarah was lucky enough not to need the procedure. Mark wanted to help those who do and raise awareness about the need for this vital bone tissue. In our endeavors through this whole journey, we found that um, a lot of other people, a lot of other Canadians are waiting for a bone marrow match, over 900 Canadians. And we thought, maybe we can raise some awareness. Every event that we've run so far has more than exceeded our goals. We've seen the young people, the old people, um, just beautiful to see. It makes me so proud being a dad seeing every person that walks through these doors and, and know that they might be helping somebody waiting for a bone marrow transplant. All right, so you're here to become a bone marrow donor? Okay. Mark got some help from students at GW Williams Secondary School in Aurora recently. The school held its own bone marrow drive. Today, I think we've been pretty successful. It's been a little quieter recently, but this morning we had a lot of people coming through. I think we've gotten close to 200 swabs done today, which is a really huge success. And Elizabeth says getting tested to see if you're a match is a lot easier than you might think. It is the easiest thing in the world. It's 20 seconds on each. You basically get a Q-tip. You put it in your mouth and swab the backs of your mouth. 20 seconds each. It takes just over a minute, and it's the easiest thing to help save someone's life. So it doesn't matter which order you do it in, but the important thing is that one swab is just for one area. For this event, Elizabeth teamed up with One Match Canada, an organization matching donors with those in need of bone marrow. Not all people that join the registry will have the opportunity to donate their stem cells, but everyone that joins the registry really gives hope to many patients and could be the very match. What they're doing is just making herself really available so that people will realize that there's quite a few Sarahs out there that needs a stem cell transplant. And it's very inspiring for Sarah and for the family to actually come out and say, yes, there are more of us coming, um, needing a stem cell transplant. If you weren't able to make it out to a recent swab event but still want to see if you're a match, Lillette says you still have the chance to participate. If they're not able to come over, definitely they can go online and register. It takes 10 minutes of their time, and then a kit is being delivered to the convenience of their home. As for Mark, he's just proud to see his daughter on the road to recovery. Today is a beautiful morning. She's, like I said, she's in remission. She wakes up, she has a smile. I wish everybody in Canada could meet her. 
I do. She's such a beautiful girl with so much energy. She's wonderful. I'm Michael Donnelly with your Community Connection. You are now on the donor registry. Perfect. For more information on the Drive for Hope, please visit the Rogers TV website.